And we are underway in Buffalo. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. taken down but able to slip across the 35 their first play from scrimmage is a pickup of 13 well there you go this offense off to a strong start this afternoon yeah with a big run and a first down that's putting what you practice into play that's excellent execution to get things started and that play went nowhere losing yardage it'll be back at the 36 two yards the loss second and 12 that's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The pass caught by Alave. There he goes, left side. The 30, 10, 5, touchdown, New Orleans. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Will Lutz on for the point after. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen steps away to his left. And his throw is incomplete. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. And it's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. I know some teams are leery about playing cover, too, because the strong safety is not usually a terrific cover guy. But in this case, he played it perfectly. Read the football and went and made the interception. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara, 25 yards to the house. And the Saints are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Lutz good on the extra point. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Taken from about the 12. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think... He's got a man complete. Now, he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Here's Allen. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 
Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. 56, 56. Throwing now is Allen. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Forced out to his left. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Bills' decision to go for it pays off with six points. An extra point by Bass, up and good, and that'll make our score 14-7. to After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because... Every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Dalton now to pass. And the catch made by Johnson. Touchdown, New Orleans! <laughs> Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This is taken just shy of the 10. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man covers are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit and hit it he did and now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete he was waving his arms one of the football but he dropped it and that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at tennessee we don't need to mention the other guy's name but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on what'd you say to him yeah it's really not right since i blew coverage but <laughs> since he dropped the pass i said well maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you would that be easier um, he, wasn't real, he wasn't real thrilled with that it's cold-blooded <laughs> Throwing his Allen on third. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, 
with a few of the runs he's made along the way. He should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds a defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. And now a pass hauled in downfield. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Allen now on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Allen going to throw. Right back to Cook for another completion. And all the way down inside the five to the four. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Cook is in. Touchdown, Bills. Solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yes, yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Matt Milano in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback. Because that was awfully close. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So after three drives, it ended touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. They get bogged down on drive number four. Yeah, I don't know how excited you would be on the other side of the ball that they finally didn't score. You know, you're happy, of course, but at the same time, did you have that much to do with it, or did they just get tired? Maybe it's just a sense of relief at this point. <laughs> touchdown, New Orleans! Jarvis Landry, 55 yards. And the Saints have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Lutz with the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they looked up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. 
And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. From the 36, Allen. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. To throw, it's Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass, use his blockers well, and pick up the first down. From the gun, it's Allen. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Davis. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. now on third and goal. His pass caught at the four. Oh, and he's going to be brought down a few yards short of the goal line, and they're going to be unable to stop the clock from here. So close yet so far, and that's going to be how this first half will come to an end. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To the air, Allen. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Paulson and Debo. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be in even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead. And boy, it paid off. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. So Dalton now. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Three yards is the game that time, second and goal. Camaro. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Again, Camara. 
And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. It's an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I... And this time he is in. Alvin Kamara. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints take a three-touchdown lead. Lutz good on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This is taken just shy of the 10. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 27 yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Marcus May with a pick. And the Saints are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception. Under heavy pressure, and down goes Dalton on the sand. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Another try after the first down sack. Dalton, and this is incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. A throw over the middle, taken in by Troutman. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. They'll try on fourth. Here's Dalton. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Diggs crossing the field and bringing it in. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. On play action, Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, 28 yards. And the Bills get a bit closer. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Alave over the middle. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Third down, here's Kamara. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. 
Jair Elo makes a pick, and the Bills are going to take possession of the football. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. So after the INT, it's Allen. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Marcus May with a pick. And the Saints are going to get the football back at their own 17. Yes, folks, that is his third interception. And I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. <laughs> On second and 12, Dalton. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. They'll try to pass on fourth down. Dalton. And this one is incomplete. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That is caught inside the five. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Cook. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson knocks a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Takes it at the seven. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. <laughs> Trying to run down some clock with Camaro. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Kamara again. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line. And that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. 
This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. We're backed up here in a tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Still an important piece of business to take care of. The extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This will be fielded inside the five. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation, and now fourth down, You've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made, in my estimation. Here's Dalton. Now he's hit, and Dalton lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And in for the score. Are you kidding me? They return it, and they take the Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. From the six. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Ed one told me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. I mean, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, Let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what... And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now, goodness, possession's going to go over right at the 10-yard line. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. So Allen's going to look to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And the Saints are going to take over at their own two-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're taking it right down Broadway. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 
10. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. And that's the type of play that will give your sideline some juice a long touchdown pass. And it's like a bolt of lightning, isn't it? That suddenness of that play brings everyone to their feet in the stadium, and he takes it all the way to the end zone. Give them credit for making that type of a play call. Even more credit for how they executed it. They'll try and run it in. And he's going to get in for the two points. It was an incredibly gutsy call, but they've taken the lead by a point late in the game. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. Well, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked off by Paulson Adebo. And the Saints have just about sewn up this football game. Well, that puts a little bit of a wrinkle in their comeback bid. Yeah, everything had turned around for them, hadn't it? I mean, things were now going their way. But you did mention it's a wrinkle in their comeback bid. It's not the death knell for them by any stretch, but now they've got some extra work to do in order to climb all the way back. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed.